All right, friends, welcome to a TTL set, which is from the most interesting, the most competitive, at least for many, uh, group in Titans League thus far. I think the the highest amount of wins that someone has gotten relegated out of either Platinum or Gold, the highest amount of wins they've had that's still being relegated was six. And I think that was in a four-way tie in Platinum in Season 2. I would need to double-check these details. But right now, there is a world where we could have the fifth place spot go to the eighth, uh, sorry, a player who gets eight wins. Because this is so close. We have Slam at eight wins right now. We've got Dragonstar at seven. We've got Sato at seven. And then we've got Kingston, who is two rounds remaining at six. And then we've got Overtaken at five. So anyways, it's going to be a wild finish to Group C in Titans League. Uh, Dragonstar here. Jenny's he's got seven wins. And he's really showed how solid he is and Slam comes in on eight. Both players have been pretty beastly. It's it's not really the... Uh, it's not really a fun time to have to play each other here either because both players have played so good. Their point tally's so high and then I'm sure they look at their opponent and they're like, whoa. They've got potential. But so far, Slam's gonna be choosing to not dock, actually. He doesn't have a villager going to dock, which is very uncommon. You've got Dragonstar doing that now. Uh, but so far, I personally feel as though Slam has been the best player in this group. Um, he's brought the level that everyone who's a Slam fan knows that he's able to bring. I haven't seen heavy nerves from Slam, which has always been something that could happen for him in the past. He's played quite strong. And it's Malay versus the Japanese. And based on the start, I think I prefer Dragonstar's start. Uh, just because he's been able to get the dock up, he's going to have two fishing ships out here soon. The slam, I think maybe even forgot about the dock, or maybe he just doesn't agree with these builds that players are doing where they take their stragglers. trees. So, initially I was thinking maybe slam wouldn't dock at all. I've yet to see any player choose not to dock. But he just, he went for the more standard approach, which is build the TC, build the lumber camp, get the wood, then build the dock, like you do on almost every other map. So, WDW says Overtaken was 7 and 8 in Season 1 Gold and got relegated. Oof. Interesting. It feels like Overtaken's always in really difficult groups. Dragonstar almost lost a villager there. Yeah, I'm a big Overtaken fan. For him to get relegated would just be wild to me. But if it's not going to be Overtaken alongside Stark, it's going to be Dragonstar or Sato, which I think are, are both crazier i mean the bigger conversation about this group guys like we're talking about getting relegated because that's really fun but like the, first off slam really wants to get first place he wins 2-1 or 3-0 here there's no guarantee he gets first place because kingston's got two more rounds but like first place moves on to platinum which is a guarantee second and third place is playoffs sato's got sato and dragonstar both got really good odds to either get fourth or place, fourth or fifth place right now, depending on what happens in that overtaken series and their series as well. So, like, a lot of pe people look at Sato and they say, this is a guy who's a platinum player. He's top 24. But based on the results in this group, he's looking like he, he may not get an opportunity to prove that. I will see. So, uh, Malay advanced faster to the next stage. Japanese, cheap lumber camps, great fishing ships, lots of flexibility. Right now, it looks like we're going to see Dragonstar consider uh, the water approach. That said, as I say that, he's actually going out to get another Rhino, and he only has three on wood. Oh, he's making a barracks. Okay, so he is making a barracks, which is going to be... Hmm. I guess he's going to go... Yeah, he's going to go man-at-arms. I really like the approach, actually, because everyone expects a water play, right? So, some type of water play is expected. Slam's going for the second dock right now. And Slam goes for the second dock to go and win water. Dragonstar does lose his camel, though, to Slam's TC. And that that hurts. Losing your scout, or in this case, the camel, it, it hurts with man at arm plays because you always need that unit to block villagers. That potential isn't there for Dragonstar, who we know is going to lose water. 
He fished early. He's not going to be fishing long term. Slam's even going galleys now. So Dragonstar has the man at arm upgrade on the way. Has Slam scouted the shoreline? He did kind of, but he didn't really check to see if there's going to be a second dock. I think he's assuming there is going to be a second dock. And Slam doesn't have Loom. And Slam is going to lose that villager unless he can pull off a crazy quick wall. He's getting Loom now. But no Loom. And she dead. So one villager kill already. Slam has to quick wall his gold. And now these are Japanese man-at-arms looping around. But we talked about the stakes. We talked about the results and how ridiculous things have been so far. So you have all that pressure. You have the pressure of, of course, playing in a tournament, which is just standard pressure. And then you have this happening. I think Slam's in trouble. I know he's going to have fish. But what does he do once archers come in as well? This is brutal. I think he could drop a tower, but he wouldn't be able to drop a tower where he could take his gold and also his wood. There is a world where Slam could give up on that gold and go to this gold, though. He could switch sides. But I think you have to run now if you're Slam. I don't see what other choice you really have. And he tries to run. Again, these are Japanese man-at-arms. If the camel was alive, both these vills would be dead. Dragonstar blocks with man-at-arm in front. And Slam is going to drop a tower here. So all things considered, Eco KD is going to be the same. Um, Slam actually has a few more villagers because he spent less time researching the next stage. He could still take wood. What he can't do right now is take gold. Dragonstar, this tower needs to be in a position where it is not rangeable by Slam's tower. And it is the perfect tower. So what does Slam do about this? Oh, he places another lumber camp. Actually, that's kind of smart. <laughs> that That's actually... He made it look so easy. Just place another lumber camp. You see a stable for Slam. Uh, I think these villagers are heading over here to get different gold areas. And Dragonstar has to protect the tower for now. I'd like to see him wall up that tower so it's there for as long as possible. And Dragonstar using one of his man-at-arms to kill the hunt. So Slam's not able to take it. But Slam seems to be okay. It could have been so much worse. It's crazy to me, though, that, you know, had the camel been alive, Dragonstar probably got two more kills here. The tower goes up. Dragonstar trying to deny wood entirely. But he's not really able to do that. He can't really sit here because of the tower from Slam. And Slam's got three fishing ships still working. Let's check resources collected. Resources collected. Ahead for Dragonstar. And ahead on food. He's been placing mills all over the hunt. Playing extremely open, extremely aggressive at home. If Slam were to ever counterattack, Dragonstar could have some real problems. But for now, Dragonstar just taking out Slam's houses. Looking around to see what's happening. He's going to lose his archer here. Just six on food for Slam, though, is not a good look. He's going to bring in the Rhino, though. Actually, Slam took wood over here. Not gold. Now he's going to take the gold. Man-at-Arms pushing the Skirms away. The Skirms will back away, though. Dragonstar needs to ensure that he keeps these alive. And Man, Slam's TC is beastly in this game. Killed two units already. And also weaken these two. These things are as good as dead. Oh, but the archers are going to get over here. And there's fletching as well. Oh, Slam's in trouble. He can't tower. This is brutal. What Such great awareness from Dragonstar. This whole strat is something that I'm sure he designed. Because everyone has been going for water. It's the perfect strategy. And now, Slam still can't take gold. And if he were to add scouts from the stable, he could kill Slam's skirmishers and Slam's archers. This could be good for Slam to maybe end up killing some of these archers, but still no fletching for him because the blacksmith never completed. And like I said, there are going to be some scouts on the way here for Dragonstar. Also, I like how the man-at-arms are at least like doing something and they're just attacking the house right now. Still, somehow Slam's alive and he just relocated to this gold. He doesn't really need wood over here anymore. Hmm... Tell Slam trying to block off this area. The scout's going to loop in. We'll find a skirm kill there. That does alert Slam to the fact that the opponent has scouts and so could add a spearman. 
Archer number's not going to be too high for Dragonstar. But I think is is basically like, I might as well go Castleage because I've done enough damage from here. Knights would probably win the game. And yeah, you're certainly thinking about Castleage now. Also thinking about a tower here. And Slam sees this, so Slam's going to stop that. That should be a dead vill. What would be really interesting here... I mean, Slam scouting is not great. But if Slam knew right now that Dragonstar didn't have that much army, if he were to count counterattack and just go directly over here, Dragonstar's wide open. Let me check resources collected again. Slam stayed in the game uh, somehow. Don't ask me how. He did kill that villager there. Sorry I didn't show it, but I'm sure you knew it was happening. The longer the game goes, the better the melee are. Especially against the Japanese. I do think Malay have weaknesses in late game against a lot of other civs that have been chosen for this map. But against the Japanese, it's like both go infantry and archer. Malay have the ability to hit some pretty ridiculous timings. I don't think it's the worst matchup for Japanese ever, though. Slam has to go tower defense now. Because he knows that his opponent could sneak in at any time. And Slam will actually have vision on this hunt. Because, um... If you scouted the hunt and it's been killed, you could see it. So it looks like he's headed there. But he's just remembered he has the camel and he's now going to scout Dragonstar's base. And he sees the gold. Slam's got a lot of eco right now. Dragonstar looking for kills. Not able to find the engagement he wants. Dragonstar has a stable here. I'd love to see a second stable and the second stable's at home. Oh, this is perfect. As long as he doesn't take needless losses, I feel like Dragonstar should be in an amazing position. I think you could classify this as a needless loss, but he didn't really have vision. Towers are shooting each other, by the way. That's worth pointing out. And Dragonstar will be making knights. This is a trash army. And he needs to fall back and drop a tower because of it. That's not ideal. Good house walling. He's Japanese, so he could always just drop... Whoa! That villager died quickly, just because of the two archers that were in there. <laughs> More quick ones here from Dragonstar. Slam's camel's kind of witnessing this all. But Slam buying food, Slam clicks up. And because of Slam's presence here, Dragonstar hasn't been able to, to kill Slam or do any damage to Slam yet. The counterattack's done a lot. And I think Dragonstar, really with a misplay here, he didn't have bloodlines on his knights, so knights are pretty weak. But he does have this knight here, though. And I assume Slam has noticed this, but he's probably looking here right now as he's trying to block all this. Gets, gets real messy here for a second. Dragonstar also diving underneath this tower here. He probably won't find the damage he's looking for. That knight's done enough, though. That'll be the second villager kill. And then here... Well, I mean, this still hasn't been dealt with yet. That's another villager kill. Here, Slam will defend. Ish. This is such a messy game. Okay, finally the knights will kill this. We have Bodkin Arrow on the way. Which will make the range units stronger. The skirms will go down in this group, though. As will that one archer. We've got a Monastery for Slam, whose base is wide open right now, and Fudiko is a real long-term concern. Also, Dragonstar is going to shoot that tower down. Dragonstar, he'll be up against Crossbow, so he's probably going to need Siege, or he has to avoid the range units from Slam. The score's got to be really confusing for Dragonstar. He's done a lot of damage this game. He's probably feeling like he maybe should have a better position than he does right now. If you could just wall this, though, he's safe. He's got nine knights. He's going to fall back home right now, though. It seems like he's trying to collect a main his main group of knights together to heal up and work with the scorpions. You can see that all the weak ones have gone home to heal. I love how Dragonstar's just sending in random knights like this to try and find damage, but I also love the fact that Slam is ready for it with a monk. This is a great game. I'm really curious what happens in this area of the map. Because Slam will need that in the long run in a normal game. Normal coast to mountain that happens. Ooh. So Slam figures he's not going to raid me because I've got a monk. He's scared. 
And, oh, Dragon Start trying to place buildings here with the camel! The camels made all the difference! Don't tell me, you know, one player losing a camel versus the other player not is going to make the difference in this game. It's going to be crossbowman and a choke point. Camel OP, man. And you... Uh, I mean, you, you kind of have to fight this right now if you're Dragon Star. You have to. But he's trying to wait and wait for his scorpions to show up. If you could have the knights on this side and the scorpions on this side, this could be a good trap. I mean, well played from Dragon Star, because that, that would have gone so much worse for me. I think... I don't know where Slam goes. Do you decide to attack the knights or the scorpions here? Well, he decides to go through the knights. And the scorpion play was perfect from Dragon Star. Very well played. He again saves a weak knight. And just concerned for Dragon Star. No eco upgrades, no fish. And Slam is on two TCs. So even though Dragon Star just killed that army, Slam actually has a 15 eco lead. Slam's on three town centers. So Slam is in, in defend. You know, defend mode and boom up towards imp, and Dragon Star really needs to be killing quickly here. What a what a fun game. This is the most unique Coast to Mountain game we've seen thus far. Feels like every other game we're seeing players fight for water. No one really invests into land. I think I like Dragon Star strategy a lot. I, I I can't doubt the strategy, but Slam has done a really good job of just staying alive. And full credit to him for that. I love how Slam has kept villagers on stone. I think the thinking for him will be dropping a castle here. Or or somewhere where you could take that tower out. Like, that's not gonna be easy castle to place if Dragonstar is gonna siege push. Like it's just become obvious to Dragonstar that he really needed upgrades. Getting husbandry. I'm getting bloodlines on these knights. I mean, he sees this town center. That's his target. It's much harder to do damage over here because this is where Slam has his monks. He's going to see Slam's crossbows there too. He probably just saw this and figured that's exposed. Scout goes in, trying to kill some monks, and gets a kill. Wow, Dragonstar's micro. Really good and great from Slam too, though. Dragonstar doesn't lose a unit. Slam only lost a monk. Actually, Anvil. Slam doesn't have anything to deal with scorpions right now. High pressure situation right now. This is insane. Slam wants to drop a castle. It's probably not going to be placed over here. Slam also hoping to push a little bit. Got two knights of his own. Got some crossbowmen. Got the monks. Dragonstar still one town center. He needs to kill. He's getting plus two armor now. So the knights could do very well against low numbers of crossbows, which I would consider it to be low number. The TC, if it goes down and then the knights run in, it's going to leave a lot of villagers exposed here. And Slam's going to try and use these knights, most likely to kill the siege, but... Dragonstar does have a monk there. The Dragonstar could convert one of those knights. And Dragonstar runs right under. This is so good. But if he only had two full HP knights there, he would have absolutely, he would have definitely gotten it. Here he goes in this time. Okay, he's going to get it. Slam's under pressure. The villagers are underneath the TC. They're going to get flattened. Here comes Slam. Dragonstar expects it. Dragonstar goes for the conversion. He, he does get the conversion he wants. He now backs away from the TC. Still has the siege around. Still able to apply pressure to this TC. Slam still hasn't dropped a castle. I don't know what Slam... Like, where Slam's supposed to drop the castle. Now, there's no monk to heal up these knights now. And Dragonstar only has five of them. He's not really producing many more either. And there's also no monk to convert these knights from Slam. So, Slam might be able to make it happen. He goes knights for the scorpions. His mangonel here needs a shot and gets it. These knights are going to die to the town center, and Slam's going to clear it up. And now he dropped the castle. Dude, what a hold. I mean, it was so close. Even saves the monk there. Now you drop the castle. 
And yeah, why drop it here when you've taken the whole area? Just drop it even further forward and take even more ground for yourself. Dang. And honestly, the way it normally plays out is if the player who has a 20 eco lead defends from that and gets the castle down, it's very hard for that player to be stopped. Because now Slam can stabilize, and Dragonstar has to try and play the boom game, but he's so many steps behind in that. Wow, what a ridiculous game. I, I it, It's wild, but I think if Dragonstar keeps his night number higher, so he doesn't dive underneath the TC when he does, if he doesn't force it, and if he has two more monks there. That's the difference between him losing this game, which he may now, I don't know, or him killing 15 villagers there, clearing up the TC, holding the position, and Slam never being able to drop that castle. There's also an interesting element of this where Slam decided not to build a castle even though he had the stone. Uh, a lot of players would have at least dropped it here. But Slam, his whole plan was around getting that castle up there. So he waited, which was good patience. So let's check res collected quickly. Slam's collected 3k more res. He's collected more of every resource. He has more villagers to work with, right? So he has more villagers to send a different task. Long term, you probably want archers. And so Slam's got the range units upgraded and the range units being massed. Long term with Japanese, you don't want cap. So I think the hope here is Dragonstar goes for light cap, kills another monk. This tower actually had killed a monk a moment ago, which I showed on my screen, but... Ideally, Dragonstar is going to get some real value from these knights, and he is getting value from them. This is really well played. He's killed 32 eco in this game. Finding more villagers back here as well. Really seeing now how much Slam has expanded. Well, Slam really wants a counterattack, but he hasn't been able to find it yet. Nice fighting here from Dragonstar. Nice movement from the knights to the back corner. Nice movement to have another knight here. Dragonstar's killed 35 eco now. Does need an answer for the crossbows. Does need an answer for the monks. But I suppose, like, the light cap is the answer for the monks right now. This tower, Slam must be so annoyed by right now. He's really got to find an answer for this thing. And there we go. Slam converts the knight. There's only two there. Will he lose the monk? Of course he doesn't. And he just drops another town center. Yeah, Slam doesn't actually have stone income right now. He could do that underneath this TC, but he's trying to balance out his eco. Like, guys, Dragonstar is everywhere. But where Dragonstar is not is at his own base right now as Slam continued to push forward. The presence of mind to push forward when you're getting raided in so many different spots is insane. Dragonstar is an animal with these raids. And he's killed like 40 eco. But the problem for Dragonstar is just consistency with eco. He's now 30 bills behind. He hasn't had the TCs. He's still kind of been all in. Like, Slam doesn't notice any of this. I'm sure Dragonstar's aware. But he's thinking, yeah, I've lost some villagers here, but if I can continue to kill villagers here... Oh, Slam. Slam, dude. He doesn't notice it. He doesn't see it. He's, he's become accustomed to there being blue dots in his base. <laughs> he doesn't know. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Look at Slam's eco balance right now. <laughs> Slam's eco balance is insane. And he's going to lose his crossbows. The knights just freeze, which wasn't Dragonstar's intention. And Slam, probably a little worried. Like, I'm sure he was feeling good for a while. Oh my god, the tower's still up. I'm sure he was feeling good uh, two minutes ago. And after losing his army and there's still being knights raiding, he's probably thinking, is this actually happening? What is happening to me? Great game here, guys. Both players so desperate to get into those playoffs, right? Slam in a better position to get first place. He's got eight wins, but Dragonstar has got seven. So Dragonstar wins this series. He surpasses Slam. I'm not sure how Dragonstar would do in the tiebreak scenario because I don't remember the sets won and sets lost, but it should be relatively close if this is a 2-1 for Dragonstar. Knights run all the way to this back corner where some of their friends died before and find more villager kills. That'll take Dragonstar up near 60 vil kills. And Dragonstar will aim to push down this tower. Slam just can't get together. He just can't 
figure it out. There's just knights everywhere. Look at these raids from Dragonstar! Dragonstar's insane! How is he in all so many different spots? Wow! It, it's this truly an insane game from him, man. Like, he's, he's in full army control mode. And he needs to be. He absolutely needs to be. 70 villager kills now. And, like, Slam... I said 30 more villagers for so long. He's collected all these resources. But he's had five hours of idle time in a 43-minute game. And I don't think he's going to be able to take that good of fights if this continues. Because Dragonstar is just everywhere. He's got two Karambits he somehow got. I guess he converted them and he's killing more. Holy. And, you know, if I'm slamming, I were to lose this game, right? I would be on tilt, and it would affect my performance in the rest of the games, which is the real concern here for him. As the Knights find more kills, and Dragonstar maintains the 2-1 to one KD, and Dragonstar is all over Slam before he had to be. Now? You know, maybe he starts to chill a little bit. Maybe he could drop the 3rd and 4th Town Center and get more economy. He seems happy to just run underneath Town Centers with these Knights. Slam really needs a castle here, right? He needs a castle here, and he needs to have monks next to his crossbows. The fact that you know, he didn't have monks here allowed Dragonstar to dive. 170 kills for the player from India. Just 82 kills for Slam. And Dragonstar says, thanks, I'll take your monk now. Thank you very much. Another castle from Slam to protect this area. And Dragonstar, of course, has knights going in. And Dragonstar will find more kills there. Insane raids. But I think the castle will go up. You'll take losses, but the castle will go up. Your slam. And, you know, slam is now pretty much fully protected this side. He's going to have stone walls now. And the castle has ballistics. So this, all this area is protected. He now needs to focus his area on this. Uh, his mind on this. Normally, I would say you go pikemen against this many knights with the archers, but he's had to replenish so many vills. He hasn't actually had the food. And dragon starts just lower your monks. There's a monk. I'll kill it. There's a monk. I'll kill it. Like Kev on that too. It's just any any question you might have, like why isn't Slam doing this? Why did Slam do that? It's because he's under pressure all the time. All the all the all the all the all the, all the time. It just never stops. Can he get another castle? Can he defend this area? He's in his TC with some of his crossbows and his villagers. Dragonstar is not stopping. He will soon hit 100 eco kills in this game against a player who still somehow has more eco than him. Another monk bites the dust. Slam is struggling. This is ridiculous. Slam has six and a half hours of vital TC time. <laughs> what? And Dragonstar on the third town center. And the fourth town center. And Vils are just flying. Knights are flying. Vils are flying out of his TCs. He might surpass Slam here. I think what would be really sick from... I don't know why Slam's got a Vil here. I think what would be really sick from Dragonstar right now, just to make this game even messier, is drop a castle here. Because I'm worried about you in the long run as Japanese. So I think, like, if you're Malay, not that you'd be going all in, but let's just say you think your Civ is better in Imp, then you place the defensive castle. If you think your Civ is worse in Imp, I think you have to place the offensive castle. Um, I don't know. It's tricky stuff. I mean, Slam's still got so, me so, so much access to resources. He's still got gold available here. He's still got wood. Somehow Dragonstar ran through here. Dragonstar has clicked a few knights through. Slam sees it, quick walls it. Could actually trap them, but it shouldn't really put his APM towards that. Dragonstar maybe sees this castle, so wants a castle here then, so he can go up to Imp and make traps. That that would actually be... That would make a lot of sense. And he clicks Imp. His score dips because of it. Slam probably recognizes that. And Slam clicks Imp as well and will be faster because he's Malay. Slam can still somehow win this freaking game? So, yeah, you, if you've killed that many Vils, you're probably like, okay, he can't imp. But, like, at the same time, Slam's only spending food on Vils, and Dragonstar has spent food and gold on Knights. I mean, I actually think advantage Slam, guys. 
because the Japanese are going to need to go... This this is the flow of the game, right? You see your opponent's got crossbows and you're worried. So you go skirms. And if you go skirms, Slam is in a position to add bomber cannons against that. Uh, after he gets chemistry, which any archer player will. Or he can just go Karambit Warriors. And Karambit Warriors would be great against the Skirm. So I guess like maybe Skirmisher Samurai is what you would want as the Japanese. I really hope we see that. I think that'd be epic. I like this from Dragonstar. He, he saw a couple Karambits here. And he's going to stonewall this off just so he doesn't have to deal with any raids. Any pressure would now go in towards his castle. Resources collected. Slam still collected way more. What a ridiculous game from Slam. They, they, I, I don't know how he's lost so many villas and is still in this one. The answer, by the way, is because he was on town centers faster. He was three TCs versus one, so you could you can survive if you're taking losses like he was. Now Slam, he's on Arbalest. He doesn't actually see this castle. He'll run into it. He does back away, though, so he's fine. And he's dropping a castle here, and the Trebs are already on the way. So TCs will go down for Dragonstar. And Dragonstar is kind of like... He is multiple steps behind. Right? He needs the Archer Ranges to be masked. He needs to have Blacksmith upgrades. He needs some form of Siege Defense here, and I'm not sure what answer he'll find. I don't think that Dragonstar can win. I think Slam's just got too much too fast. This is good from Dragonstar. But now we're just now getting Bracer and, and Ballistics. He will not have Chemistry. And not that Chemistry gives him access to Bombard Cannon. Slam is set right now. Slam's got three Relics. Normally, I'd say you expand these golds, but he's kind of been here already for a long time. He could take all of this gold. T90, if you had Elite Skirms and had to choose between Bracer and Ballistics, which one would you choose? Uh, well, ideally both, because they're, they're di they cost different resources. Right? But if I had to choose, I'd say Bracer. I don't know how realistic a scenario that is. And now, Slam's going to have Elite Karambit Warrior in a moment. You would invest so much time into killing the Arbs, and then Slam's already on the next best thing. What a crazy game. Imagine losing this game, being Dragonstar. Oh. Ridiculous. Okay, Slam, next time you're in this position, can you please tell your castle to shoot these Palisades so I don't have to look at it and destroy that archer range? Thank you. So Elite Karambit's going to complete. The Malay are so good with timings. A couple patches ago, the devs gave them their infantry armor upgrades for free in each age. So the, the fact that you don't spend the res on that, and then it's just instant is wild. Allows that Karambit, Elite Karambit Warrior upgrade to be you know, realistic for you, while also getting some of the other upgrades. Slam, not really seeing a lot from Dragonstar right now. He's going to see the Cav Archers. And Japanese Cav Archers are strong, but you need gold for them. Gold is not something that Dragonstar actually has access to. He can't afford to make more Cav Archers, much less get heavy Cav Archers. He's going to have the Blacksmith upgrades. He even got Parthian. So those are good upgrades, but he can't take this gold. This is his only gold remaining. He spent so much gold on Knights and Siege. Meanwhile, Slam's got 50 on gold. Including some of this gold forward, which is kind of a Dragon Star's base. And there's no fear of Bombard Cannon from Dragon Star, so you probably could just use these Trebs against the castle. Here, Dragon Star is going to try and get some gold back. But 30 on food, 75 on wood. It doesn't seem to me like Dragon Star has enough. To, to be able to push this back and look at all of this eco back here. What a ridiculous game. What a hold from Slam. Such crazy aggression from Dragonstar. I I feel bad for Dragonstar <laughs> because I felt like he played so well, but it shows how elite a player Slam is and why he is number one in the group right now and why many people think he can get first place in this group. 
Slam's just gonna chill here. I'm sure there's gonna be a million Karambits going there in a second. I like how Slam's taking Hunt. Interesting decision. Anyways, GG's called. Slam takes the first game, and I would be thinking, what more can I do to beat this guy if that didn't work for me if I'm Dragonstar? But it's hard to beat the melee on timings. Remember when Dragonstar clicked up to Castlage, it didn't look like Slam was going to be anywhere near. And suddenly, you know, Slam, who, who stayed alive, balanced his economy a little bit, used the market, and then he was up at Castlage at a competitive time. Even Imp. It's like, okay, Dragonstar's done so much. He's killed 100 villagers in this game. He can get Imp faster. He clicks Imp. He's not Imp faster. Slam just stayed consistent. He's like, I can lose villagers, but I'm always going to add villagers. And he always had consistent access to every resource he needed except basically stone. I still wonder how this game goes, though, if this the push in this corner would have gone a bit differently. Um, and I got to see what stage of the game that was. Yeah, okay, this right here, I really do feel like, hindsight being 2020 and all, that maybe Dragonstar dove too much here. Because he's, he's not planning on booming at all. He doesn't even have villagers on stone. Slams three TCs. You need to take this out. So I think... Yeah, I think this... I mean, clearly this needed to go better for Dragonstar, but I'm wondering what happens if he's more patient. Because the issue was his knights were here. I think if his knights are not underneath the TC and he's just letting his siege do the job, that he can defend from this a bit easier and then Slam doesn't have as good a shot to clear everything. The blue tower didn't actually kill that much. I checked and it killed just like two villagers, but it did kill a monk and it was important. But yeah, this was the moment. Like once Slam cleared this, I actually thought it's GG because it's 76 eco versus 55. And then Slam's got a ton of army. But Dragonstar was just raiding Slam to death. That was a, a very good game. Um, Let's see. Eco count. Uh, Well... I, I can't wait to look at how many villagers in total Slam had. In total, Slam had 238 villagers that game. Not counting his fishing shifts. Uh, their max is actually the same, which is kind of funny. And then, yeah, Slam collected more of everything except food. Has to be said as well, Malay matched up very nicely against the Japanese. Alright, game two. I doubt we're going to see as many villagers die in this game. But if we do, it might be the best to wall game we've had in Titans League thus far. Dragonstar, reminder, this is the final round for both, right? Okay? And as it stands, Dragonstar has seven wins. Slam now has nine wins after winning that first game. Normally, I'm thinking you seven wins, you're fine. But actually, seven wins is danger territory. You know, there's alarm bells going off in your head if you're at seven. Because fifth place player overtaken with one more round is at five. It could possibly overtake seven. It gets even crazier because there's tiebreakers if they tie on eight or something. But basically, Dragonstar needs to win. Slam wants first place. Wins the next two here. I think that close to guarantees him first place. And then you don't have to play a stressful playoff. Best of five series, which is from players from other groups. And there's some elite talents there. So Slam fans will be hoping he can continue to uh, survive from any of the aggression that Dragonstar is sending his way. And it's the wall, so you've got stone walls that are uh, do not belong to either of the players. It's Gaia. And I'm actually on Gaia Vision now. Confused myself. I was like, how do the, how does someone have vision on this? But yeah, I have to keep an eye on the wall because it's possible that someone could come through the walls. And if someone breaks through those walls, obviously they could go and kill you. Also, uh, here's to hoping that wolves don't attack player villagers here because there is a DE bug where wolves uh, or, or animals and I think it's, it's definitely wolves I don't know if it's all animals but there's a bug where if you're playing on a custom map right now the players do not get an attack notification and we had a player lose a villager to the wolf to a wolf because of that we've had multiple players almost lose villagers to wolves because of that I reported it to the devs thanks DE nothing we can really do about that uh this is not a map that's built into the game. The super weird bug, but yeah, there's wolves. Players should know that, though. Turks versus Bohemians. If this was Arena, I would prefer the Turks. 
Um, this is a bit more monk heavy and fast imp heavy than standard arena, though. I would prefer the Turks because the like have upgrade is free. Uh, and then chemistry and artillery becomes really nice later on in the game. But most of the games have not been as eco-oriented. We've seen a lot of players build castles on the front, try and go imp, monks, trebs. Because it's weird, right? Like, if it's normal arena, you can control the map and you can control a lot of space with your light cav. But here, you can't get past... You would have to break past this, which is an investment. But even if they break through it to run into your side, you can't access their side because they can just make a gate. I think this is a good home map choice for Dragonstar against Slam, though. I wouldn't say Slam is a bad arena player, but if you think of Slam's strengths, it's normally open land maps. So there's a bit of mystery to how this map is played because you can't scout what your opponent's doing either so essentially there's less adapting and it's more so what core strategy is this player going to pick what core strategy is this player going to pick how does it match up against each other i could see dragon star considering maybe it, man, like a Pike Siege push, but if you go Pike Siege Monk and Slam had just dropped a castle somewhere. Like if Slam just drops a castle here and then walls this off, even just having a castle with Janissaries could be really good. So I think I would go for castle. But you wouldn't pro you probably wouldn't drop the castle here because you don't know what your opponent's doing. You probably would drop the castle more towards the front. And then if I were Dragon Star, I wonder if maybe he walls, adds a lot of eco, fast imps, and then slowly pushes out. Because I actually think Monks as a defense for Janissaries is realistic now because Janissaries only have seven range. It's tough because seven range is still a bit and Janissaries will kill Monks quickly, but when it was eight range in Castle you really felt like you would no shot. Now you could make the job work. It seems like he definitely is planning out his building placement with maybe a market blacksmith there. And he's going to stone. How do Hussite wagons do against Janissaries? Janissaries should do very little damage against them, right? Is that a play? Yeah, some people like to think the Hussite Wagon's not good. I actually think it's very strong. We actually saw Dragonstar go Hussite Wagon, elite Hussite Wagon against the Toe in a crazy fractal game, which was is already uploaded to my YouTube channel. Hey, Dragonstar's probably going to go for them, guys. Just one or two, right? Like, I don't think the idea is actually to go for a lot of them, but just one or two to help with monks. Normal Hussite wagons would get destroyed by them. Well, I'm trying to think of how much damage a Janissary does against a wagon. Even if it's max damage, which is, uh, I forget. Is it 16 damage that they do in Castle? Or is it 17? 16, 17? Even if it's max damage and there's no bonus damage involved, the wagon still is 200 HP. And then you just repair it. And wagons only cost wood and gold. And then Bohemians get both gold mining upgrades for free. So their gold income should be pretty insane. Whereas the Janissary is... Food and gold, which delays your Imperial Age. Yeah, I agree. I think, I think it's a situation where both units actually don't really do that much damage to each other. But the Janissaries could... could they're easier to micro because they're more accurate and they have more range. I don't think the damage that the Janissaries do is good. So that might mean... I I'm just spitballing here. Like, let's say Dragonstar goes forward castle, right? Makes one or two of them. Slam then says, oh my god. I'm not actually killing them. And I know Slam, he, he probably is going to then... He's going to be nervous. Because he's thinking, I've never faced this before. So I guess I need to make more Janissaries. So then he makes like 15. 
And then Dragonstar just didn't make anything more. He just hide, hid behind these walls, and then he goes monks. An imp? I'm just trying to think through strats. I don't know. It's very different from Arena, though. Anyone have loom here? No loom. No loom. Okay, so they need to be careful with the wolves. Is the change to Hussite wagons regarding projectiles already in the game? No. They have a pup build. So it's a, it's like a test build that I, I don't know if it's still available, but the proposed changes are in that build. I think the devs are trying to rework how the Hussite wagon works. Like they, they want it to work in a different way. Um, I personally do not like the idea. Like I think the Hussite wagon's already pretty good, actually, but I don't know. I kind of like them as is. I don't think Bohemians are in a state where they need a lot more. They're really good on closed maps. They could be solid enough, but have some weaknesses on open maps. They're great in team games. So I don't know. Like if they're trying to make the unit better. I don't agree with that balance wise because I think Bohemians are already really strong, but they they kind of screwed themselves and they're, they've done the same with the Bengalis where they introduce a civilization that is so good in so many different ways that if you give them any more strength, they then become OP. So I guess for them, as Slams walked forward here, they want to still tweak that Hussite wagon because they don't feel it has a strong place. I'm not so certain on that, though. I, I actually think the wagon can be good. I'm excited to maybe see it. And Slam saw the Dragon Star was building the castle here. So Slam goes Monastery Castle. Dragon Star sees that castle. This is where players might think Fast Imp. Right? But, I mean, it's going to take time. Monks will just get the three relics on either side of the walls. Uh, Slam is going to snag this one first, which is very wise, just in case. The other thing about Hussite Wagon is in order to convert a Hussite Wagon, you need Redemption, because it's a siege unit. Which is so annoying. Here we go, baby. Here we go. Here comes the Hussite Wagon. And I think the big differences here is what you're spending to make your unit. And when it's a castle war, you would prefer to always be spending wood and gold. What's kind of fun is Dragonstar could go this way towards Slam and Slam hasn't walled. And then Slam could go this way towards Dragonstar's eco, but Dragonstar has walled. Here comes the first wagon. I'm really excited to see what happens here. I don't think this unit has to be scared. I think you can go in and get a direct hit and then run away. Look, it's insane. It's insane. I told you. It's insane. Look, you still got 180 more HP. Hussite wagons destroy these things. Slam's going to be in trouble, dude. He's gone way too far. Now, he wouldn't be in big trouble if Dragonstar not walled this. Dragonstar is going to have to save this villager. Love Slam's farming eco. Slam's farming eco is awesome. And I guess, I guess the wagons are slower than these dudes on legs, which is kind of funny. So Slam's actually buying himself a lot of time here. And he could force Dragonstar to make, air quotes, too many of these things. <laughs> Watch Slam run all the way to here. <laughs> Please. That'd be so funny. That'd be so funny because he knows he's going to lose the battle. But he just wants to pull Dragonstar away. Come on, Slam. Run into the darkness. No, no. It's not going to work. Yeah, I actually think this is this is problematic for Slam. I think he's going to struggle in the long run. Light cab goes down. Slam trying to kill the monks. The wagons... It, it's weird. It says they have 16 attack. They don't always hit, though. Yeah, the wagons win. So, again, though, Slam's food eco should be better, right? Yeah, it is much better. But the wood and the, the gold eco is better for Dragonstar. And now these wagons can roll right past castles and TCs. I think Slam's dead. I think this is... I think Turks actually have no counter to this on Zawal. 
On Arena, you can't really waltz forward because there could be light cap. So the forward castle can't happen, so it's different. I don't see how you beat this unit. Janissary does not beat this unit. I don't want to say it was right, chat, but you can say it. <laughs> Sorry, that came off. That, that was a little too conceited. I don't think you stopped this. And I think, like, I've made videos on this. If you watch the Bohemian Nightmare video, these things, they don't care about your TC fire either. So they could just go right underneath the TCs. Now, what... Oh, his slam actually goes underneath the TC. Oh, God. Okay, this gets awkward. Nice job from slam to find something. Now, here's what players don't seem to know yet. So, like... One or two patches ago, the devs made it so these are more vulnerable to mangonels. So Slam's not adding Siege because he doesn't know that, which I feel like a lot of viewers know that, so I think pro players should probably have that understanding as well. Um, you know, there is a world then where the monk upgrades just come in and then the Siege is converted from the Bohemians, but I don't think Lycav is the play. I think Slam's very confused. He doesn't seem to know what to do, and he could lose his TC pretty soon. Redemption monks are great against these. Well, yeah, but it's like 500 gold for redemption, and then you need the monks as well, and you're only on one monastery. It's tricky. It's not easy to deal with these, whereas you just make them, and your opponent needs to add so much to stop them. You don't need any upgrades. And Slam tried his best to kill these bills. Dragon Star has moved around to different golds. Slam clearly focused on defense. And TC's fully garrisoned. The efficiency of Slam's economy is rough. But here he goes with Manganels. I think you have enough of these where you then just say, screw your Manganels. I just go kill your Manganels. Like, look, okay, what do they need? Three shots to kill it? Okay. I'm just going to kill your Manganel. Weird from Dragonstar to go for the Ram. A good job from Slam to take it out. But I imagine Slam is not feeling very good right now. Dragonstar with more on stone and has 648 on stone, so he might actually want to castle drop slam. The slam, unfortunately, has allowed his opponent to get to the snowball. And uh, you know, he has to repair constantly. And he could lose his TC before he gets to the crucial mango numbers he needs. He's got nothing on food. Man, he had such a good food eco before. Yeah, Dragon Star's like, I, I don't freaking care about this. I don't freaking care. Well played, Dragon Star. He needs win. He really needs to win to be more comfortable in this crazy group. Well played, Slam, to still stay alive, though. Slam starting to get some kills. Okay, there we go. Now, I think, guys, if Slam would have added the Siege Workshop the second he saw this, I think it, it becomes a very different game. Unfortunately, we have a castle coming up from Dragon Star. He's going to get woo woo wooed. But if he completes that castle, Slam will have no way to stop it. A little dicey. Because uh, there's not as many wagons here anymore. But looks like castle will complete. Dragon Star making these units look busted. Well, he did it in the previous round as well, right? I think it's a situational unit, but the unit is, is very strong. It's a unit that gives you initiative in some matchups. And if the counter is Manganels for a civilization that has so much gold income from their mining... Oh! Oh! They could go for Redemption Monks. But now you gotta be careful, Dragon Star. This is what the people meant. Now you stop producing them. Your wagons have given you a good position. Well played. He actually stole Slam's farms. Now I think you chill. You don't want to show your wagons anymore. Slam just on one TC. Dragonstar still just one TC. Still should probably be erased at the very least Trebs. But would also like to see these wagons get repaired. I think that would be a good move. I want to see Slam go for a YOLO castle and Dragonstar's TC. Um, like, I want to see him run through here and drop a castle here. And I think that's what he's going to try. He's kind of defending... He's kind of holding. Obviously, if he just reacts constantly, he's dead. And now we see Redemption for Dragonstar, who's, again, just going to convert the Siege, and then the Siege defense is just out the window. 
But let's go, Slam. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Dragonstar does have vision here, but he doesn't have any army here. Dragonstar is just chilling out, trying to balance that economy a bit more. Having said that, he's still focused a lot in the front, so I'm actually wrong. Why we're going in here against mangoes without the monks, I'm not sure. But he takes out the mangoes anyways. He's all over Slam's gold. Slam is in big trouble. Slam could lose the siege workshop soon. And Slam's going to drop the castle that is going to blow this game wide open. Let's go, baby. He's like dead. But he's like, I'm taking you with me. Oh, no. Dragonstar noticed it. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Okay. So Dragonstar is pulling Vils to try and attack and fight this off. The wagons have to be pretty close to actually hit. There's more wagons on the way. Meanwhile, there's this happening. Um, I'm pretty sure this castle goes up. Slam has 10 on wood, 0 on food, 0 on gold, 0 on stone. But he's got a castle. And Dragonstar might need to abandon his whole economy here in a second. I mean, Slam might also need to abandon his whole economy. Dang, that, that's that's the castle right there, people. That's the castle that gives Slam a shot. Especially if he builds more, if he gets that stone. Here, Slam has a mango. Slam's done a great job keeping himself alive in this series. Mango will likely be converted, though, so he needs to be careful. Oh, uh, that's going to be converted. That is a conversion. That is not a conversion. Ram is... And... Okay, this is this. It's not a conversion, but it's going to go down. Siege Workshop will be converted instead. Um, Slam doesn't have food to make a lot of units, and now these wagons are preventing him from taking the stone, and he just calls the GG. Wow, what a game! I think that's the correct play from Slam. Um, to you know, you got to try something, right? You you can't just sit back. The defensive castle would have done nothing for you, and Dragonstar gets a win. So. Again, not knowing their sets one or anything at this point, but as it stands, like Slam's at nine wins in this group. Dragonstar's at eight wins, and there's one more game for both of them in the group stage. If Dragonstar ties Slam, there'd be a tie break situation between them to sort out the differences. And obviously, you know, both players might not even end up getting first place, right? At that point, I mean, only one could, but it feels realistic that maybe someone could beat nine in the group with more rounds to go. Um,. I think it was a more difficult game to play for Turks because of the Hussite wagon. I think you're constantly a step behind because your Janissary maybe isn't worth it uh, or at least worth the cost and it's pretty expensive. And then you'd have to add more units and any unit you have to add against those wagons can be dealt with by the Bohemians. But also Slam didn't know what to do. Like I think the second you realize after you lose all your Janissaries here, you've got to go siege. And it felt like Slam thought Light Cav would work first, and he learned that lesson the hard way. Great game. All right, friends, so here we are, final game. We're going to switch the colors. This is the final game for Slam and Dragonstar in Titans League Gold. And, I mean, either way you look at it, both players probably are going to be safe, should be safe. If they, you know, if the result ends 2-1 either way, uh, if Slam wins this game, Slam goes up to 10 wins. That definitely means he's safe. That likely means he's in the playoffs. That does not guarantee him first. Dragonstar, though, you know, if, if he loses this game, he's only going to be at 8. Maybe there's some weird world where the stats tell us that he could somehow be out of playoff contention. I don't really think I should speculate too heavily on that right this moment as we enter the third game. It's Lance Madness, Franks for Slam, Vietnamese for Dragonstar, which I actually don't think is bad. I actually don't think it's bad. I'll tell you why in a moment. Uh, but definitely stick around, guys, after this cast, if you're watching the full series on Extras. Also, if you're watching the full series on Extras, be like, hey, I'm watching on Extras in the comments. Little good old YouTube algorithm comments. Um... You know, just let me know you guys actually listen to me instead of fall asleep to me or something. But we're going to look at the stats afterwards. This should be wild. So, Frank's for Slam. And he's going to have the mindset here of going scouts into knights. Vietnamese have cheaper eco upgrades, faster researching eco upgrades. 
you think foot archers with Vietnamese, but you really don't have to on an open map. I think that since they're archers, including cav archers, get extra HP, against the knight civilization, they should want to get into cav archer mess. It was the Slam Sato series two weeks ago where Sato uh, was Huns against Slam's Franks and Slam lost against mass cav archers. But with Huns, it's much easier to add cav archers. So I think getting to the mass is the biggest deal, not necessarily the HP. So we'll see. Um, Slam has the woodline of the gods down here. This is really not something that's supposed to happen. It is essentially two woodlines, or maybe even three woodlines, that somehow spawned into each other here. It's not an adminry. It does happen on Land Madness, maybe like 5% of the time. Um, but it, it makes life easier for him in terms of accessing wood. And actually, what could be nice for him, because he could, it's only going to take wood here, is I could actually see him get a wall down to the edge of the map. Uh, like, walling here is now a possibility, because you can't wall on the stone terrain. Gold actually slams biggest issue in the long run, though. He doesn't have any safe golds. And Dragonstar does have a very nice safe gold here. And actually, thinking of walling, if the players are tempted to go for walling on a map, which, again, is difficult to do, Dragonstar could actually wall to this woodline. He could go wall here, and then this area is protected. Could also do an edge of the map wall like this, maybe. So just things to think about. I think if you're thinking about walling too much right now, you're not playing the map properly. The goal should be to open strong with army and then adapt from there. But According to our base, he says, right now, Slam can still finish fourth. Really small chance, though. That's wild to me that someone in nine with nine wins could still finish fourth. But Kingston has two more rounds, and Kingston has six wins. Kingston is actually, mathematically, I think, the favorite in the group. With six wins right now. He still has to win games. But, like, that's what I'm thinking. I think Kingston's favorite for first. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I think Dragonstar still... And don't spoil all the stats for me, but I, I, again, as I tell myself not to talk about it and then continue to talk about it like a, a hypocrite or an idiot, um, I still think Dragonstar could be relegated if he only gets one win here. Which would still be ridiculous. So, 20 pop scouts versus 19 pop scouts is the opening. I'd be shocked if we see anything different. Uh, however, Dragonstar does like to forward... And you do know where the enemy TC is. He doesn't actually know where Slam's taking wood right now. As Slam's just going to pre-wall his wood line. He also has small wall of his berries. Has other berries right here, which is really nice. There definitely have been a couple things with this generation that have helped Slam. Just minor things that players can take advantage of. But Frank's already a pretty smooth sieve to play. Having the wood, having this, the double berries close, that's not too bad. Well, Slam's going to find these turkeys. Dragonstar now finds the turkeys. Both players are going to fight over turkeys. And Dragonstar's got to be careful because Slam is going to be up faster than him. Dragonstar's actually going to take this fight. This is interesting. Franks don't get extra HP until the next age. So Dragonstar may be feeling like he wants to weaken this scout. But now you're out in the open. And you need to run away home to your town center so you don't lose this scout. Well played from Slam. Slam will like that. Slam also dodges the TC fire. Well played. And Dragonstar's barracks is very late. That's bad, right? This is like... There should be no surprises on this map. It's an execution map. And having your stable be this late, it puts you behind two scouts now. It should, I believe. Slam's going to have one scout on the way already. Yeah, Slam will be two scouts ahead because of that. And Slam wasn't really able to take control early in any of the games so far in this series. But he's a player that, if he can get a lead, especially with a scout build, he could make the most of it here. Yeah, Moon Man, I don't know if you saw my introduction to the cast, but I did talk about Cav Archers. Obviously, to get to Cav Archers, though, you still need to play very well in Feudal Age, and not give your opponent much initiative. If anything, for Cav Archers to... For you to have time to mass the Cav Archers, you need to have taken some initiative. So, like we said, 
Delayed scout production here for Dragonstar hurts him. It's obviously not the end of the world, though. He's walled up his wood line. The slam saw that. The one vulnerable area, I think, is the berries right now for Dragonstar. It was good he found he got those turkeys back home because he's been able to take those before adding in farms. Slam with mill number two. Slam unable to hide that. Not that you would really want to, but Dragonstar can see the second mill. The Franks have that forge bonus on top of the farm bonus. Dragonstar prepping the house here for when he overforges that in case he's not paying attention. And he's on four scouts. Slam is about to be on six. So it's looked pretty smooth for Slam so far. Res collected so far. Very even. A bit more on wood for Dragonstar. But Slam should be farming a bit more now. So, you know, considering how devastating Franks can be with early scout control, it's not too bad for Dragonstar. He definitely would have wanted to have more scouts on the field himself right now, but... Not horrible. The, 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 what? Curse of the commentator. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, Dragonstar. That should not have happened. Now he's got some weak scouts there. Was probably focused at home doing something. There's a lot of actions players are performing. It's very easy for us to forget that when we're watching them play. Because we, be we become used to them producing a lot. And not having issues. Slam's going to go scouts. He's also going to go into archers here much earlier than I would have expected. And he's also producing more scouts than I would have expected as well. But, I mean, archers obviously make some sense if your opponent's going to have... Um, if your opponent has spearmen, and there's five for Dragonstar. Dragonstar will see the villagers on gold and probably think, oh no, what if he makes archers? I need more army now, and he adds another Spearman, and he adds another Scout. Also sees the archery range. This is a problem, because you're, you can't go Skirmishers to stop the archer play, because Scouts are great against Skirms. You can't add your own archers, because it's too late to have a numbers advantage. So you essentially need to have more Scouts, or enough Scouts, to compete with you know the combination, but Slam already has nine Scouts. He's going to try and go archers as well, it seems. But, man, Slam has so much freaking army. Also has a minute of TC idle time, though. I just realized that. That's pretty rough. I think Slam should wall to the edge now. Like, I think walling here, walling here makes sense. He's a little worried. Dragonstar is too. They're like, where's the enemy right now? I should be moving out, shouldn't I? <laughs> That's funny. Dragonstar is going to loop over here. He's got seven spears in defense spread out around the gold because the woods lines are protected. And here he goes. Slam spots this because he just got Town Watch, which is an upgrade I love on this map. And Dragonstar feeling good initially about baiting the spearmen away. Probably a little frustrated now because there's just so many of them. And he's got to defend at home right now. And the archers from Slam are on the prowl for spearmen. There are some ranged units at home for Dragonstar. And he's trying his best to use them against the archers here. He's actually going to weaken this archer. That should be a kill. And here Dragonstar looks away for a second. He's losing his scouts. It's so rough for him. And we now have four kills for Slam. Zero for Dragonstar. Dragonstar forced into a tower. He's still alive in this game. Cav Archer is still a possibility in this game. Slam spent a lot of food on scouts. But it's all defense here now for the foreseeable future for Dragonstar. But the nice thing is, though, the tower protects the gold. And I think he has enough range units to kill Slam's archers. And Slam can never really die because of the Spearman. So that's good. I think Dragonstar is expecting Slam to go all in. Slam just uses the market. Sells all of his stone. And he clicks up to Castle Age. See what I mean, though? You see how the spearmen are there? Not sure I like the... I don't think there's been a single time I've seen... Well, okay, I was about to exaggerate. Never mind. I was going to say, I don't think there's been a single time I've seen armor upgrade on spearmen and feudal age and agreed with it. I don't agree with it here. I think castle age is priority, but I see everything. 
I have the all-seeing eye. But, you know, if he had that 100 food right now, he'd be on the way to Castle Age. Not sure the armor is what scared away Slam. I'm pretty sure it's just the numbers. And Dragonstar clicks up anyways. Two ranges already. We may see the third range, but guys, he's going to need more on wood here. Slam has done a great job keeping his scout number high. And Slam goes in on the gold. Slam's going to have armor in a second. Slam hungry for villager kills. He's going to have one villager kill. The second one could maybe sort of kind of happen. I mean, it honestly, it's not all that good. They just kill two villagers. But actually, it's pretty, it's pretty it's okay. I thought he maybe he lost more scouts there. He's on seven scouts. That's not bad. This army could kill all of Slam's army here. And Slam's going to be on knights in 15 seconds, which means Dragonstar needs an answer to defending on that gold. But, you know, Slam might actually need to defend his gold in early Castle Age because here comes Dragonstar, this little ranged army that I figured he'd just forget about. It's actually going to force Slam off of all of his golds. Oh, that is so nice. Because that stalls out knight production, right? The first two knights can come, maybe even the next couple knights, but... Uh, I guess Dragonstar now realizes if Slam deleted the house, he probably can kill me here. And so he's just running away with this army, giving himself time to mass the Cav Archers. Couple scouts going after a villager there. I like what Dragonstar has done here. He's, he's pulled Slam out of position. He will also see Slam's adding the town center here. And it's going to be awkward for Slam to stop these things from killing villagers because of the pathing. The range units can group up. And there you go, Dragonstar. He's going to get one. And he's going to get two villager kills here out of this. So we'll have an even game economically. I lied. I lied. Never mind. The cab archers are here. 80 HP after Bloodlines, guys. 80 HP in Castle Age. And still, Spearman killed one. <laughs> But, um, oh, did the villager go down? Oh, shoot. The villager actually still ended up going down. But yeah, this is why Vietnamese cav archers could, could do more than people would think. Because you just can't kill them. And Slam's going to go 3 TC. Boom. Slam isn't going to make more many more knights. And honestly, I think Slam felt like he was forced into this TC because range students were coming. And then he's now forced into this town center because... The potential of cav archers on the gold. Cav archer mass should be really strong here. Because uh, Dragonstar, who will fall behind in villagers, has nothing to stop his cav archers at the moment. And I think the play for the knight player is always scorpions with the knights. So Slam will likely add a siege workshop at some point. But Dragonstar not messing around here. He's even getting husbandry, so he has more speed. And these cav archers are, are just going to slowly whittle down these units. Franks do not have very good skirms. And Slam's probably like, not again. Like, not up against cav archers again when I'm Franks. This is precisely what happened to him in the... Uh, there's the Siege Workshop, yep. In the game against Sato. Now, again, it's three TCs versus one. So at the moment, Dragonstar, he has a strong army, but Slam will have the stronger economy. Oh man, Siege Workshop's denied though. Oh, that's rough. Dragonstar still with Spearman at home, still massing Cav Archers there. And Slam actually completed the Siege Workshop when I looked away there. But he's going to lose Villagers. Man, if Dragonstar had one more Cav Archer in that group, he would have one-shotted both those Vils, or all those Vils. And Slam's diving! The army that Slam does have is right here. He's got to run away, though. So it's really hard to add farms and whatnot in Dragonstar's current position because he has so many armies to micro. But it's really hard for Slam to find valuable trades because of how many Cav Archers are around and how many upgrades are in. Like, this is this should never work. This should, nev th this should be a bad play for Slam every time, I think. I think. I think. Scorpion's getting some hits. The TC's getting some hits. Oh, it's actually maybe worth it there for Slam. And Dragonstar missed Micro here as well at the same time. Ooh. I was thinking a villager or two gets sniped. The Cav Archers get by anyways. 
But Slam now up to a 15 villager lead. Still adding some scorpions. Still has wood, food, and gold access. And still only 17 cav archers for Dragonstar. Who really, at this point... I mean, if I had the market here, i buy the stone, i buy the wood, and i get a second town center up. Look how nice it is for Slam how he can refresh lumber camps in the wood lines. Like, you can't really TC a wood line easily if you're Dragonstar because of the map. You could maybe delete some of this stuff and squeeze a TC in there. Slam. 65 villagers. And that scorpion combined now with two other scorpions. So now Dragonstar probably needs to use the mobility of the cab archers. He's trying to dodge these shots. He's hoping the scorpions will be attacking a certain group of cab archers and that he can just move those cab archers away. You see he's doing that now. Slam's done a good job microing the scorpions, though. He's clicked them on the right targets. This is this is kind of adding up, honestly. Dragonstar just wants to kill these scorpions, but he's really forcing the issue here. And Slam now has a 20 villager lead. And so, you know, if Dragonstar's cav archer number isn't starting to to do more, right? Deny these types of expansions. Maybe there's a world where Slam's eco approach can actually do things here. Dragonstar seems housed at the moment. This is definitely a player who's thinking all in aggression, not thinking about you know, things being too cute or economical at home. Finding more villager kills there. Here comes Slam. Slam's going to loop in. I mean, he can't fight the main army of cav archers. The scorpions are the most important thing for him at home. So he goes in and he hits the wood line. And Dragonstar did not expect this. And Dragonstar's still microing here. And he's probably still looking for things here. And this hurts. Oh, man. So Slam now has killed as many villagers as Dragonstar has here in Castle Age. But as I say that, more idle time for Slam. Dragonstar having some success. And so much of Slam's eco is going to be idle if Dragonstar keeps looping like this. Knights finding another area. Spearmen, did they die? They're maybe out of position. Main force is happening. Dragonstar had added knights to kill the scorpions here. That's why those knights are there. He had two of them. He's now lost one. And he's now lost the other one. Well, no, he hasn't yet. Sorry. He's going to lose the other one. But the knights paid off and, and took out the scorpions. Slam's losing knights. Slam's got idle time. Slam finding another wood line, though. Dude, Slam... Slam has done such a good job to find the areas that he needs to with the small knight numbers. And look how weak these cav archers are. These cav archers are a couple scorpion shots away from going down, and here we go! That's it! 20 cav archers for Dragonstar. Here comes a batch of fresh ones. Dragonstar is definitely thinking forward castle, right? That's a lot on stone. Slam's still only at four knights. Guys, players will never do it here because they feel like they just can add a knight or two. But honestly, Manganel. Uh, uh, I take it back. I actually think just like have three knights. And the Manganel is a lot of wood, a lot of it's slow. I actually think a couple knights. But in theory, right? Manganel here and then Slam can't do anything. But you can't bring the Manganel back into the eco like this and Dragonstar is going to find more kills. Yeah, like, how are you supposed to, to move around properly to other resources when there's this many cav archers? Love this from Slam, though. Slam just continues to say, all right, fine. I can't really fight your army. I defend with scorpions. We attack with knights. We do not stay at home with knights. That would be foolish. I love the thinking. I think there's a hole there as well. Dragonstar sees this one, though. Slam repairing the scorpion. Wow. Dragonstar actually killing the repair villagers for a second. Killed more here. Defending still here. Attacking still here. There's so many little armies. I can't even show you guys the armies at the moment. Like, this is crazy. Dragonstar is attacking in two different areas on the front. And he's defended with quick walls at home. This is ridiculous. This is insane. And I still don't know how you stop it if you're slammed. But you've, again, you've got a vill lead. Which is nice. But you're just going to lose so much. If Dragonstar stops there... I'm gonna find a couple more kills. This might be a little clear up for Slam, so that's good. He can breathe there. 
a dragon stars up to 30 cav archers and dragon starts dropping a forward castle on slam and slam's going to lose his knights here potentially potentially i like how he's continued to move with them and with that castle going up the siege workshop is rendered useless the tc would then be useless it might not go up actually scorpions denying a castle is that a thing uh i mean if you had to choose between the castle and the cav archers you would probably choose the cav archers and dragon star is basically making him choose and then you you, you don't want to be here too long with the scorpions i think because if you're here too long with the scorpions then you have problems and well slam stayed too long the castle's gonna go up dragon star he's found himself in a similar position to game number one he's got a massive military advantage i mean it's way better than game number one but he doesn't have the eco but i, I think on land madness like having the eco doesn't do much for you on its own eco equals army dragon star is so far ahead in army that i don't see a world where slam can really come back i don't know what he can make now he is he has made this tc which dragon star didn't spot that's gold which is really important um, he did just scramble down this TC. He's also escaping here. I, I don't think Dragon Star's expected that possibility either. But Slam's idle time is ridiculous right now. And Dragon Star is just everywhere. Now it's two town centers for Dragon Star because he's not spending um because he's not spending food on his unit type. He can produce out of those TCs pretty consistently from here. And Slam's lost 50 villagers, and it doesn't look like it's going to change anytime soon. Like, this is... He, he's in boom into nothing mode. This is... It feels like it could be game over. He just got to try Scorpions again. Yeah, he got two TCs on gold. He's got this town center on gold, and then he has this town center on gold over here. There he's actually taking gold. The Dragon Star finds more villager kills. And I do not think that Slam... Like, he could eventually breathe here with some Scorpions, maybe breathe here with some Scorpions, but it shouldn't work all that well. Look at Dragonstar's reaction time. Like, instantly dives in with the Knights to kill that Scorpion. And gets the Scorpion kill. Quick check at Dragonstar's economy. It's not looking too bad. I am curious on resources collected, because I feel like the food count should be better for Slam. Yeah, food and wood, but the Golden Stone is not. There's the uh, Siege Workshop we talked about. Because Dragonstar figures he can just go Manganels now. Mm, here another Scorpion is attacking. Slam does notice this though. And he's still going to lose it. And Slam just full Scorpion defense, guys. He's got no army. Dragonstar 76 villagers. Dragonstar is going to win this game. They're going to be tied at 9. At the conclusion of this group. What a crazy group. This is a ridiculous group. Like, and if you're wondering why does Slam have no army, he's on four TCs. Like, he needs to. If he stops creating villagers, he just falls well, well behind. But he, he doesn't have the food eco to be able to produce villagers and also army at the same time. He'll probably squeeze out some knights to try and take out the Manganel here in a second. But, yeah, this is, this is over. Dragonstar would have to throw pretty badly to lose from this position. There's no pressure on him now. I mean, there's pressure. Don't get me wrong, but he sees the, the scorpions. He goes for the scorpions. And this is the weakness of Franks, guys. Cav archers. Not halb sieves. Cav archers, man. Because Franks have crappy skirms. Okay, Slam's going to try. I, I could see Slam getting this kill because Dragonstar's looking at all the other armies. So this is good. This is also an argument against the Siege Push, right? Because you... Okay, these are good finds. Good kills from Slam. But you could maybe drop a castle here now so we could take this area. Those are good finds. Doesn't make it any easier in Imp, though. And Dragonstar will be an Imp. Dragonstar's Cav Arches will be even stronger then. Mm. Some more losses for Dragonstar. And Slam's going to make a run for it. 
and try and drop a castle there. Five hours of idle time on his uh, villagers in this game. Dragon Star's played amazing, though. This is so good. And this castle... Oh, it could be denied. Did Slam delete a villager? No, there's a Rats and Archer. Okay, there's a Manganel, and Slam calls the GG. Dragon Star wins the series with a great performance. He could have won the first game, if you remember. This group is freaking stacked, my friends. A, a ridiculous group. And... We still have a couple more sets remaining in the group. We're going to talk about that now. But this series has continued the trend that is, if your name is, if there is a series that has happened that did not include Stark, the um, the score is always 2-1. There is not a single 3-0 for, for everyone who uh, else who played in the group. I'm being told my stream is dropped, which is weird because I'm still here. So let me, uh, I guess Hardy can clip this stuff together. I imagine my stream might come back, but we'll make sure that the review is seen by stream and then also by people who uh, are going to be watching video format later. Uh, real quick, resources collected. Dragon Stars collected slightly more, but he had far less idle time, and the massive Cav Archers ended up getting the job done. I really just think that's a weakness of Franks. And I think the, the way that you avoid the Cav Archers snowballing on you is you maintain army mass. And it's really hard to maintain night mass when you have three town centers like that. The slam going for the three TCs gave him a vill leap, but then he lost control over the game. All right, so in group C then, things get really fascinating now, and we're going to have to pull up Liquipedia as well. Oh, God, I'm blinding people. So amazing resolve for Dragonstar. So as it stands, using Liquipedia, this... The reason I wanted to go here is because this incorporates the tie breaks, and I'm not sure if our statifract sheet does. But Slam is not first. As it stands right now, Dragonstar is number one. He could be overtaken, he could be passed by Sato. But Sato would lose the tie break to Dragonstar. So in order for Sato to actually get above Slam or to get above Dragonstar, he would need to get to 10 wins, which means he needs to 3-0 Kingston. Let's actually just use this sheet now. So we're going to input the result. Dragonstar wins 2-1. What does this mean for the group? Okay. It seems like this is really bad for Overtaken. Overtaken with five wins, one round to go might still be screwed, but let's, let's just see. So... Dragonstar's 25% odds for first, 75% for second. Very unlikely he ever goes below that. So that's amazing for him. Slam is 75% odds for third. Could still get fourth place. Could still get second place. This all depends on the other results, of course. Sito, who many people think are t is a top 10 player, um... He is 67% for fourth, meaning I think he has to get a 3-0. Let, let me look. Let's just see. Sato goes 3-0 against Kingston, and what happens? He's first! Yes, of course, because then he gets to 10. But wait, is he 100% on first? He is. So, But if Sato doesn't get a 3-0, what happens? If he gets a 2-1, he's third or fourth. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. And that is dependent on probably the Kingston series versus Stark, right? Because if Kingston goes 2-1 versus Sato, let's say, and then he goes 2-1 versus Stark, Kingston takes first, Dragonstar takes second, Slam takes third, Sato gets fourth. And then Overtaken and Stark are relegated. That's before we even see the Overtaken results. So I, I just kind of went through everything. Let me just refresh because we're talking about potential. But basically, stats-wise, after that series, this is what we're looking at. So it's looking like it will be Kingston in first. This is assuming he he wins three games minimum, I think. Uh, over the next two rounds. Because a tie with Dragonstar, having beaten Dragonstar, means he wins a tiebreak, right? Did he beat Dragonstar? 
He beat Dragonstar. Yep. So Kingston first, Dragonstar second, Slam third, Sato fourth is what it looks like. Crazy stuff. This was really bad for Overtaken. Overtaken would have wanted Slam to win 2-1 here. I think if Slam wins 2-1, first off, Slam would maybe get first. And and then uh, I guess there still would have been rough for Overtaken. Maybe he needed Slam to 3-0 Dragonstar. I don't know. But guys, here's, here's the final thing I'll say on this. And this is the bad news for Slam fans. Okay? We still have to see how things play out in other groups. But actually, this, this might not be bad news for Slam. So let's say Slam ends up in third. The third place player from Group C will play the second place player from Group D. And that's actually... That, that actually could be bad news for Dark, if anything, right? Yeah, that could be bad news for Dark. I think it would favor Slam in that series, but I think that'd be a close series. Yeah, so that... I, for some reason, I, I, know, I think Vinchester's in second place in Group B right now. So yeah, it looks like Vinchester... It's not guaranteed, but it looks like Vinchester might be second in B, which means he plays third in A, which I think is likely to be Hart. I think. So, yeah, some wild stuff, man. Like, the fact that a player like Sato might not even make the playoffs is wild. Uh, and then the fact that Overtaken could end up at eight wins, in theory, and still be screwed is just horrible um, for, for him. But it's just how wild this group has been. Uh, sorry, just want to double check that. Let's put that result in. Oh, interesting. Okay, so what's happening here? So if Overtaken wins 3-0 versus Stark, and then Sato loses 2-1, what happens? Sato's still up. Because Sato won the tiebreak? Because Sato beat Overtaken. Wow. So, okay, so, and did Overtaken lose to Kingston as well? He did. Okay, so basically the only world in which Overtaken survives to simplify it is if he wins 3-0 and Sato gets 3-0'd, or he wins 3-0 and Kingston only gets one win from his final six games, which... I think it is more likely that Sato gets 3 0 than Kingston only wins one game from the final six games. Um, so we'll see what happens. But, you know, I think Sato pressure could be off a little bit in terms of survival, at least, if you just need to get 1 1 versus Kingston. Crazy group, man. Just a crazy, crazy group. Someone getting eight wins and getting relegated is wild.